There is no SCP scale of parameters instruction in Studio 5000's ladder logic, but we can use a compute instruction and do the same thing. We're going to go to the Compute Map tab and bring down a CPT instruction. For my destination, I'm going to name it Analog Scale. And we want a decimal in that, so when we create it, we want to create it as a real data type. I'm going to scale mine so it displays 4 to 20 milliamps on my HMI. So I want my analog scale to be 4 to 20 milliamps, but I need to know what my raw value range is. And one great feature of Studio 5000 compared to some of its predecessors is we can go to the module properties and then the configuration tab, and we can get the low and high engineering units right here. Now, someone is going to tell me, hey, you could just change those engineering values to what you want. The issue is you lose precision. I'm going 4 to 20 milliamps. Well, it's it's an integer. So it's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm not going to have any resolution there. So overall, I disagree with changing these engineering units. Plus, when I'm troubleshooting, these are the numbers that most people expect to see. So our high engineering is 16,383. Our low engineering is 3,277. And I'm gonna go over here. First, I'm gonna grab my tag, which is local colon two colon I, and then I'm wired to channel one. So I want CH1 data. And then I need to subtract that raw low engineering, which was 3,277. And then I want parentheses around what I just did. And then in a later video, we're going to go into the details of why, but you want to multiply the range of what you want divided by the range of what you have. So I want a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So I'm going to put 20 minus 4, and yes, you could put 16, but I'm just making it really visual for you. And then I'm going to divide by what I have, which is 16, 383 minus 32. 77. And then you want to add whatever you want the zero to be. So in my case, I want zero to be four milliamps. So I'm going to put plus four. And we're going to download that into our PLC. And if you need any help downloading your program or any of those basics, we have lessons on all that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out our channel. I have analog scale where you can see it nice and big on the HMI. And then we're going to put the sim ALB2 in the current source mode. And it matches all the way up to 20 milliamp. One advantage of the SCP instruction like we had in RS Logix 500 is that we didn't need those fixed numbers in our SCP. We could have them as variables. That way you could change your scaling in your HMI. And we can do that with this method too. So we're going to add that feature, but first let's visit the SCL and learn the advantages of those over the SCP so we can implement them as well. Click here to follow me over there.